you know, people who are not Christians may not understand this, but those people who know that their sins have been forgiven, that Jesus paid the price for the forgiveness of their sins, they can confidently say, he has delivered me from the mighty clay. Joshua who told the children of Israel, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether you serve the gods you served in, the, in, in Egypt, the god of the Amorites, or uh, whether you serve the god that delivered you from the house of bondage, make a choice. That means that if you love God, it must be serious. You must be committed to the things of God. Not half-hearted approach to the things of God or lip service. The Bible says these people draw it nigh unto me with their lips but their heart is far away from me because they teach for doctrine the commandments or precepts of men 
Full well did they reject the commandments of God in order to establish their own tradition. They preached, they interpret the Bible to suit their lifestyle. serve God faithfully. He must be led by God, led by the Holy Spirit of God. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God indeed. You can't be led by the Spirit of Satan and after you answer a child of God.
has a respect unto the father and the slave is subject to the master but if God in heaven is our father do we give him a, a commensurate respect do we obey him somebody said if you call the Lord your shepherd do you behave like his sheep Oh, 
Summoning Christendom to come, let's come together and worship the Lord. Yeah. 
I just want to encourage the Christians and I want them to know that in a world that crucified Jesus, you cannot feel at home in a world that crucified Jesus, which is the truth. And if you are truly a Christian, you will not feel at home here. Jesus, I got we does it right. A 
Our unworthiness is disturbing us. We have not been able to impress ourselves, let alone impressing other people. And all have seen and come short of the glory of God, including myself. I am a Christian by the grace of God. I'm only a sinner saved by grace. Oh, 
puta nani ya puri saja punja Jesus said, Greater love had no man than this, than that a man lay down his life for his friends. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. You can't find a better friend than Jesus. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He did for you what your brother cannot do for you. To take your place, to die a propitiation for your sin as a substitute for you so that you'll be free. And an innocent man will die for a guilty person so that the guilty will be counted innocent. There's no greater love than that. Na 
Muhammad tabarandu yani kaweza putonye na maziyonye Katabas is a gospel artist and one who indigenized gospel music east of the Niger. Also, my fans refer to me as the sower. Others call me the apostle of gospel music. Well, the way I entered music was that uh, Professor Nebo, who is now the vice chancellor of the University of Nigeria and Soka, bought me a guitar in 1972 and also took me to where I learned the first three chords, uh, CFG. And from there I developed and began to attend crusade seminars, revival meetings and what have you, until it came to a time when people so appreciated my works that I was asked to turn it into an LP, long play, you know the long one now, uh, they don't play that one anymore now. They call it LP, and that, but that was in 1979. Johnny Kai was recorded in Nigeria in 1979 and released in 1980. It was my debut. I've released over 13 albums, and the most recent is Urban Essay. I think Urban Ese was the most tasking because it had to do with challenging the deviations in Christendom, especially among preachers. And uh, since I'm a preacher myself, it was very difficult for me to do that kind of job. But I found it very, very necessary. It was a task I cannot avoid doing because I am called into the ministry. And uh, I know that some people are disfiguring the ministry giving the ministry a very bad image. And uh, I think, I felt I should speak out. My message for them is that you don't rob for a burnt offering. If this music was designed to praise God, they shouldn't rob another person's work to praise God. You don't offer what is stolen to God. So it is for the market, it's not for God. I will advise them to, to rethink and do something original. Do something for God. My advice for, to them is that they should be original. They should do their own thing and develop their own thing. Uh, they should stop copying. And uh, sometimes they even copy somebody verbatim, copy everything copy the rhythm, copy the lyrics, and we call them gospel artists. They are not qualified to be called artists. An artist should be creative and have an art direction. It is affecting the work very adversely, affecting creativity. Because when you patronize what is stolen, what is not original, you are encouraging the person to go on stealing and never to be original. So those who are marketing those stolen products have a lot of questions to answer themselves. Well, they are only copying their counterparts, which are the gospel preachers. And you know, they say like father, like son. Uh, those people who have commercialized the gospel and monetized God, they bring up those ones that are equally commercialized the gospel music. My message to my fans is, I love my fans, and uh, I owe them a lot. I am living my life for God and for my fans, and I want them to be hopeful that there are so much in the offerings. And now that I have found good producers like Ubaino Music, I am more confident, and they should be more confident and more expectant too. I appreciate each and every one of them, especially the director of this particular one, Uzo Bechi, who is already uh, 
an award winner. He has been a winner of many awards. I say more grease to his elbows and more feathers to his crown. Hallelujah. 